So I definitely knew that I have to make this video, although I made it in some way previously. Check out my video on glazing and wet blending. Get ready for a moment of Captain Obvious! What I will try to do here is explain glazing in a few minutes in a way that I would like to hear it. And I'm 100% sure and I know that a lot of such videos have been already made. But unfortunately at the moment I have a bit of a creative block. And the video is only me talking for a few minutes, so... And additionally, the model that I'm gonna present in the video was mostly glaze, a little bit of layering as well, so why not? Alright, let's go to the point straight then. What is glazing? I'm gonna give you my short interpretation of it. Not a technical term, we don't want that. Glazing is using very diluted paint. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's as simple as that. Have a look here. I took this Vallejo paint. It looks wonderful, a very juicy and vibrant color. The coverage on the glove is not bad, but it's not very diluted, it's very thick. This is a layer paint, and this is something that we call a layer. So basically a paint straight out of the pot. But let's take the same paint and add some water to it. As you can see on the glove, it becomes a bit thinner, but also a much, much smoother. And it also does not leave a visible track of the paint on the glove. That's great, perfect, all dandy. So let's add some more water to it. Of course, the paint is becoming even thinner. And now, let's add even some more water into it. At the moment, we have basically something that is colored water, so water with some color pigments. And this now is something that I would call a glaze. The question here is, why would we use such diluted paint instead of a normal layer consistency? Well, as much as I have seen, there is a trend in miniature painting when it comes to smooth transitions. What does that mean exactly? If we, for example, have two colors, we want to make the separation point between the two colors as little visible as possible. They should blend in that the one color becomes the other one gradually. And we do that by using a glaze and blurring the line between the two. And believe me, this is not the only way of using a glaze, but the most common one that you will see. You can, as said previously, glaze between two colors to smoothen them. Or for example, glaze over a layer paint to give it a filter. Or if you are crazy enough, you can put a glaze on a different paint and build up the new color. And those are only three uh, examples of ways me using glazes. But of course, there's a myriad of opportunities here. So if you find a different way of using it, kudos to you. The important uh, thing here is just to remember to dilute your paint with enough medium in any way that you have. It can be water, it can be glaze medium or anything else, and then just test it somewhere. Another important thing is to dry your brush on a piece of paper. And let me explain why should you use it. Do it. If you put a glaze on your brush, it's mostly water with a little bit of pigments. So it's very important that you take your brush and put it on a piece of paper so that the paper soaks most of the water in. Why is it important to do that? You will probably see it on your own, but you can believe me. If you have a glaze on your brush, and you uh, don't soak out the water of it, then uh, if you put it on your model and you finish your, uh, your stroke with your brush, most of the water would get out of the brush at the moment. So it is very important to take a piece of paper, put the end of your brush on it, you will see the water explode out of the brush, and then you can take your brush and use it. 
All right, so please have a look at this model because it was mostly glazed in different ways. And there was also some layering, but not that much. So guys, what do you think about glazing as a technique? Also, do you like this mostly glazed model? Maybe you think it is a waste of time. It was a lot of fun painting it because it's a very tiny miniature. Something that didn't take a lot of time to complete. And this is also a model that didn't make me hate myself in the middle or at the end of the process. Leave a comment, of course, guys. I will really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for joining me today. You are all spectacular and I really mean it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a like, give a share, leave a comment, have a look at my Patreon or my Instagram. Links to both of them will be visible in the video description. Of course, take a look at my free Discord channel. You can all join it. I'm there all the time. Take care, guys, and see you on the next one. And don't forget, the Emperor protects. <music>